Hey internet, what's happening? I got an email tonight earlier about um, someone doing a project and they wanted to know how to turn on basically how to turn on a load using a transistor um, but by disconnecting rather than connecting the wires and uh, using a PNP or sorry an NPN transistor that uh, technique I guess is basically making a NOT gate um, so if you have an input of 0 volts you'll have an output of 5 volts or 9 volts whatever source you're using likewise if you have an input of 5 volts you'll have an output of 0 volts so basically it negates it or knots it. So let's demonstrate that right now. <clears throat> Alright, so here's my breadboard and um, this rail here we're gonna say has 9 volts running through it and so we have an LED here which is acting as a load and so from the positive terminal going into the uh, the um, collector of that NPN transistor is a 1K resistor. On the the emitter of the transistor is connected to ground, and the positive side of the load is connected also to the collector of the transistor and the negative side is connected to ground. The base of the transistor is connected to a 10K resistor and the 10K resistor is currently connected um, to the positive side of the, of the voltage rail here. So now you'll notice that the circuit's off. If I disconnect this wire circuit turns on. So if I connect these two wires together the circuit turns off. I'm giving um, 9 volts to this base of the transistor here and if I disconnect it it turns on. So basically if I provide 9 volts in I get 0 volts out that's the property of the NOT um, inverter and if I put zero volts in or no connection or basically ground I get nine volts coming out which turns on the LED and here is the uh, schematic drawn in on a notepad here hopefully that's all clear so nine volts ground 10k resistor this is your input here, so if you have 9 volts coming in, the output here will be 0. If you have 0 volts here, or you disconnect the switch, have zero, 0 volts here, you'll have an output here of 9 volts. If you have any questions, my email address is... j44dge at gmail.com. Thanks for watching my video.